Hey, happy Tuesday. I'm down in Asheboro, North Carolina right now. Where's my son used to call it? Asheboro, North Carolina. I'm sitting in the parking lot where Kmart used to be about a thousand years ago. Now we have a Harbor Freight, a furniture market warehouse, and right behind me is the lovely Aldi of Asheboro. Um, I just went in there. I just ate a salad because I was starving. I haven't had anything. This was my breakfast this morning. I ate on the road. I had some dry bran flakes. I didn't even finish them all. I ate that on my way down to Uari Soap Works in Troy, North Carolina. I made a beautiful, lovely video in there. And I bought a ton of goodies while I was there. We'll be doing a show and tell with all the cool stuff I got at URE Soap Works. Not today, but maybe like Friday or something. I'm not quite sure yet when that's going to. I don't know when I'm going to get that video done, but I bought some great stuff. They have a lot of new products. If you saw my last video that I made there, um, it was at least a couple of years ago, I made a video down there. They make, I think they make just about everything they sell, they make it right there in Troy. I think they also have a store in Albemarle, North Carolina. Um, they have wonderful products. They have soaps, lotions, bath products. They now have a whole line of beard products. They have stuff for your dog. I mean, they have all kinds of cool stuff. Oh my word. Um, they don't sponsor me or anything. I just, I love that store and they're such nice people. The, the couple that owns it, they're so, they're so great. And I like to, I like to let other people know about businesses that I think are just really cool. They have neat stuff down there and it's all local. They employ local people. It's a great thing for a small town to have something like that. And I think it's just a win-win for everybody. And they're, they're just so great. So I went down there first thing this morning and made a video at URA Soap Works. Um, I'm probably going to post it later today. And then on my way back to Greensboro, I stopped here in Ashboro and made a video organizing nail polish right back there at Walmart. And it went great. It was wonderful. The nail polish was completely wrecked. It took about 45 minutes to organize it all. It was it was wonderful. Both of my videos today went off without a hitch, which is fantastic. It doesn't happen very often that I have, you know, I can make two videos in a day and not really have any problems at all. And the weather is beautiful. This has been the best day so far. I'm expecting a meteor to come hurtling out of the sky and take me out and vaporize me because this has been the best day. Oh my gosh, everything today has gone perfectly. The the weather, it's, I'm gonna tell you some. I woke up this morning and it was like I woke up in October. The humidity is gone, it, it, the temperature was in the 60s. It's only 72 right now and it's 2.30 in the afternoon. Man, it doesn't get any better than that. I haven't gotten sweaty even one time today. In fact, I stopped by Goodwill up here. I got a little chilly in there, but it's always cold in Goodwill. I don't know what it is. It's always cold in there for some reason. Man, I don't know. But, uh, oh, it went great. It went absolutely great. And I bought, I'm so happy with my purchases. I, some of the stuff I bought is new. They had some hair products. They had some skincare products. I bought uh, a skincare uh, thing. Yes, I'm very happy. And I just ate a Santa Fe salad from Aldi. But that was my lunch. <laughs> I was getting a little hungry, so I figured I would eat that, and that will get me home. There's a taqueria. Look at that. Una mas. They have margaritas in there. Shit, we should go get a margarita. I wouldn't be able to drive home. I'm a cheap drunk. I don't hardly ever drink. I really, I don't have a problem with it. I just, alcohol just doesn't do it for me. I, I don't really care about the taste of alcohol. I guess I'm what you would call a social drinker. I mean, if people are having drinks, I'll have one, but... You know, I wouldn't ride two on a mule to go get a drink. So, but I do like margaritas every now and then, especially in the summertime. I'll take a margarita, hell yeah. But they make me a little tipsy because I, I have a cheap drunk because I don't really ever drink. So when I do drink, it hits me harder than I guess most people. But uh, yeah, right back there. Ah, oh, 
so I'm going to head back home. Gas is, gas is cheap in Asheboro. I don't know what it is about Asheboro. I noticed this when I was down here last time. <laughs> cheap. I'm, I'm looking at a Sheets gas station right now. It's $3.27 a gallon at Sheets right now. I'm tempted to go over there and fill up. But, no, I get all my gas at Costco. I think their gas is better quality. Nothing against Sheets. I mean, Sheets is a convenience store line. It's a chain. S-H-E-E-T-Z. I think I did a walkthrough in a Sheets one time to show you what it looks like in there. It's, uh, I think they started up in Pennsylvania or somewhere, somewhere in that vicinity, but they're, they're all over the place down here in North Carolina. You can find Sheets everywhere. There's a ton of them in Greensboro. Great convenience store. I really like it. It's a great store. And I'm going to tell you something. Sheets has the best French fries. They're better than McDonald's. I remember the first time we ordered, we, my kids and I were in there and we were hungry and we were going to get like a chicken sandwich or, you know, a hot dog or something to eat. I don't know why we were dining at Sheets. I don't know what precipitated that, but we were in there and I ordered, I just got a small thing of fries and my kids and I don't eat fries very often, but I said, let me just get a little thing of fries for us to split, just a small one. Oh my God, we ended up fighting over that cup. <laughs> like, those are good. Give them here. No, I want them. I ended up having to go back and order more. They were, they're so good. They have a little bit of the skin on them and they cook them just right. Oh my God, they're good. I'd go into sheets just to get a cup of fries. I don't even need anything else. Just let me get a cup of fries. I'm happy. They're so good. They're perfect. The seasoning and everything is just perfect on those fries. If you've never tried them, you got to try them because they're really good. So, um, I'm headed back to Greensboro now. Um, I have an exercise class later. I got to go home and edit. I'm going to tell you what though, both of these videos will require very little editing. I went in, when I went into the soap, you already soap works, you know, it's like a store, but they make the products there as well. It was very quiet in there. Um, one of the owners had her, they had their granddaughter in there. So she was in a little locker. She was so adorable. She reminded me of Cindy Lou Who from How the Grinch Stole Christmas. She was so cute. She's so cute. She's not in the video. I don't show other people's kids in my videos. Oh, she was adorable. So sweet. She was so good. She was in there the whole time. You don't really hear her at all. Very sweet little girl. Little bitty thing. So cute. Yeah, apparently she's starting to learn to walk. So, like, oh, look out. <laughs> That's when everything changes when they start walking. You got to watch them all the time. Um, so, yeah, they won't take much editing at all. But I'm going to go home and at least get the, the URI Soapworks video edited so I can get that up today. And then later this week I'll do a show and tell of all the cool stuff I bought. Um, yes. And then the, the, the nail polish video turned out really I think it turned out good turned out well it was good it was good the condition it was good um yeah the speedway gas is 327 that's a damn shame when that sounds good um they got roast beef four for ten dollars at Arby's I gotta remind myself I just had a salad and I don't need a roast beef I love their roast beef sandwiches they're so good this is Restaurant Row here on 64 Business. We've got Taco Bell, Dixie Express, Biscuitville. There's Biscuitville right there. McDonald's, Burger King. There's Dario back there, Arby's. Restaurant Row. You got barbecue back there and pizza, uh, Sir Pizza back there with little square pepperonis on their pizzas. Law, any of y'all ever lived in Ashboro, you know exactly where I am. I'm on 64. Yes. Alright. So, I had a triumphant visit to Troy and Ashboro today. It turned out great. I'm very happy with that. Now I'm getting back on the road. Back up the road we go. Back to the big teeming metropolis of Greensboro. I don't really have anything to say it was raining pretty much all the way down here it's still very overcast but it feels so good outside it is so pleasant oh 72 
42 degrees outside. It feels so good compared to what we've had lately. I, you know, you just walk out, you just step out the step out of your house and start sweating. I can walk from my front door to my car and I'm sweaty by the time I get in the car. It's disgusting. I can't stand it anymore. Now, if it stayed like this, I would be very happy. It could just stay like this forever and I'd be fine with it. You wouldn't hear a complaint out of me. There's an unmarked police car coming up here. Two. No, it's not in Mark. Never mind. It's Ashboro. Is it Ashboro Police? Yep. Hello. Damn, he's got lights all over the back. I keep forgetting they raised the speed limit through here. Didn't they? Isn't it 65 now? It was 55 forever. I think it's 65 now. Is that why everybody's on my ass? People are on my ass all the time anyway. I don't go fast enough. You can't go fast enough for anybody. You could go 120 miles an hour through here and still be people on your butt. That's why I don't worry about it. So, um, oh, I keep meaning to tell you, I keep forgetting about this. You know, I was telling you, I was having trouble with feeling like the outer part of my lips here felt like they felt chapped, but they weren't. They weren't sunburned. It's not like they were chapped. They hurt really bad and they were kind of red and irritated. I never figured out what it was, but I did figure out how to fix it. I tried everything. I tried every damn thing. Nothing helped until I tried Emuaid, E-M-U-A-I-D, maximum strength or whatever in the red and white little jar. Cleared it right up. I didn't want to jinx it. I didn't want to say anything until I was sure. It's totally gone. It's been cleared up now for two weeks. Totally cleared up. 100% fine. So I don't know what it was. I don't know what was causing it. But that emuate or emuate, I don't know how you say it. I don't care how you say it. It's beautiful, whatever it is. E-M-U-A-I-D. I just put a little bit of that around my lips twice a day. Just a little tiny bit, like with a Q-tip. Just, you know, cleared it right up. It didn't burn. It didn't hurt. didn't irritate my lips at all. Whatever it was, it, it fixed it. So, I'm going to keep that in mind. If it ever happens again, I'll know what to do. So, if you've ever had a weird problem like that, I'd, I'd try it. Now, it is expensive. That little jar, it was like a maybe a four ounce jar. It was like sixty dollars, but if it ate, it worked. And it's I have pretty much all of it left because I just had to use a little tiny bit twice a day. And I would say within three days, it was pretty much cleared up. It was fine. It was totally fine. And I have had no problems since. I've still been putting a little bit on there once a day just to be sure, just to be sure it's fine. But yeah. No problem. All right, I think I'm at a point where I can safely set my cruise control now. So, we are on Highway 220 going back up to Greensboro. We're not out of Randolph County yet. <sighs> so, yeah, M-U-A-I-D. M -U -A -I -D. There's the regular strength and maximum strength. I just went ahead and got maximum strength. Like, whatever took care of it and while I was in Aldi I actually found some more of those thin crust pizzas I mentioned they have these pizzas and they don't have them all the time it's in the limited time only freezing frozen section in there where they have stuff they don't have all the time they had these thin crust pizzas with barbecue sauce on them and ham sausage and bacon and onions and two kinds of cheese oh my god it, it is unbelievable it is sinful those things are so good well they ran out of those at the Aldi I go to so while I was at this one in Ashboro I figured I would check it they had a ton of them they had a whole bunch of them but I don't have room in my freezer for a whole bunch of them I bought three I figured I'll, I'll find room in there for three of them yeah we can definitely do that so I was very happy about that I need to go through the freezer and take some stuff out and fix it. I'm really bad to just chuck stuff in the freezer and forget about it. I need to I need to make sure I'm using it. I'm, I'm trying to be less wasteful with food. I mean, I don't think I'm that bad about wasting food. I used to be a lot worse, but I've gotten better about not letting food go to waste. Like I've got some pork chops in there I need to I need to get out and thaw and make. I've got some ground beef in there. I just, I don't know. I don't ever think about it until
until it's dinner time and then I don't feel like thawing it out. I'm lazy. I'm so lazy. But I don't really have anything else to say. I just wanted to share my happiness with you. The fact that I was able to make two videos back to back basically with no problems at all. I, I have very little to edit out of either of them. Very, very little to edit out. I'm very happy with the way they turned out. I think you're going to like them. They have a lot of great products and they have a lot more stuff than when we went there before. They got a lot of new stuff. They have really expanded their offering. And they they still I still I think they still make all of it right there. So it's made locally. It's awesome. And they do employ local people to, you know, to work there, so it's it's great. It's really great. I really I like to help companies out that do that and try to, you know, small businesses that want to help people in the community and, you know, offer them jobs and things. I just, I know that's, when you live in a small town, that means a lot because the, the employment opportunities can be pretty scarce in some places. So, I'm happy to, I'm happy to let people know about their business. So, um, yeah, I better head on up the road listen to some music or something, but, um, I hope your, what is it, Tuesday? I hope your Tuesday is going well. Mine is going great so far. I'm looking forward to going home and, and getting this video ready to share with everybody on my other channel, because I think it's going to be really great. They did tell me that from the last videos I made there, they had orders coming in from all over the world. They had people in other countries ordering their stuff because they had seen the products and everything in my videos and they wanted to try them out and they said they now have regular customers that place regular orders you know from all over like the UK and Spain I think she said like some you know several countries unfortunately some countries they couldn't ship the products like liquids or you know it's because of I don't know customs or unfortunately some of the orders they were not able to send because of restrictions you know for international shipping and stuff for liquid products um, that sucked but yeah they do they have they have regular customers now just from those videos so I think that's fantastic um, I'm a big fan of their products and I do talk in the video about some of my favorite stuff that they have and I, I replenished my stash while I was there I bought I bought some more stuff while I was there so um love their stuff. One of my favorite things of theirs is their glycerin soap, the Chanel glycerin soap. It smells exactly like Chanel number no. five. I don't know how they did it, but it is, oh, it's so nice. It is so nice. It smells just like Chanel number no. five. Love it. And I tell you about my other favorites too. That's, that's like one of my favorite favorites is the Chanel soap. Love it. So thank you for being here. Look forward to that video later. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I want to watch it again. <laughs> Get to browse through the store again. We take a deep dive in there. We take a look at everything. They had all kinds of uh, hand soaps. They had some foaming hand soap. I bought some of that. Um, I bought a bunch of stuff. But yeah, thank you for being here. I know I've said that now like four times, but I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you again soon.